In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Cisco Firepower high availability architecture without being fired. I'm going to show you all the steps that you have to take before the upgrade process and also during the upgrade process. Okay, but first let's understand how do I have this topology deployed? So I have one FMC and FMC stands for the management unit. So it's responsible for managing the Cisco firepower, the firewalls. And I have two firewalls or two FTDs. Okay, so I have firewall one and I have another firewall here. And let's call these firewall two. And these firewalls, they are all in the same network as FMC. So let's call it the LAN network. Okay. Now, these firewalls, they, because they are deployed in high availability, we have uh, one interface. Let's call this as the uh, failover link okay, between the two firewalls. Plus, there is also the WAN interfaces. Okay? And these are connected to normally to the Internet. Okay? So let's just suppose that this is what I have. So essentially, this is a high availability deployment, meaning I have two firepowers. They are deployed in active passive, meaning one of these firewalls is going to be the active one and the other one is going to be passive, meaning won't be handling the traffic. And these two firewalls are being managed by this FMC. Now, in case we want to upgrade those devices in this type of architecture, there are a couple of rules that we have to follow. Like the first one is that we have to start by upgrading FMC first. Okay. So after we upgrading FMC, then we can start upgrading the firewalls. And also the firewalls, they will start the upgrade process from the standby unit and only then we'll upgrade the active unit. Now for this scenario, my devices are running the software version 7.2.0 and more precisely, if we take a look at um, question mark about, so FMC is running 7.2.0 build 82 and same applies to uh, the firewalls. Let's go to Cisco site and we click on downloads and as I said, we have to start with FMC and let's search for, um, that should be management center. And we want to select secure firewall management center virtual. And here we're going to select firepower management center software. And I'm running 720. So let me select 720. So let's upgrade to 728. Okay. So I'm going to download this file, the Firepower Management Center upgrade, and then we're going to import into FMC. Okay. Now back on FMC, we go to uh, update. And you can see right now we don't have any available update. So we want to upload update and we're going to choose a file and import the file from the folder we just downloaded the FMC upgrade. Okay, the file was upgraded successfully. So now I'm going to click on install. So it's checking. Okay, so first we want to make sure that this file can be installed on this FMC version. So I'm going to select the FMC and I'm going to click on check redness. Yes. And I'm going to confirm that. And this might take around uh, 35 minutes or less, but for the redness check might take around a couple of minutes. So let's wait for that. Okay. The redness check was completed successfully. So now we can begin the installation. So I'm just going to click on FMC and begin the installation. Yes, appliance will automatically reboot after upgrade. Okay, no problem. So just make sure don't power off or reboot while the upgrade will be in process. Okay, we want to confirm that. And it's going to start the upgrade process. Okay, the upgrade is still running. If we want to monitor, 
we can log back in and this looks like a different session and we can see that uh already past 90 minutes and there are 28 minutes to go for reboot we can see how far it is since we start the upgrade process so i'm going to pause this again and once it's completed we're going to return okay so it looks like the firewall is back so let's confirm whether the upgrade was successful okay we have to accept a new user license agreement so it looks like there are a couple of things new here and so okay so definitely the upgrade was successful so we have cisco secure firewall uh something related with umbrellas so encrypted visibility so a couple of new features here access control policy anyway let's just uh close this and just confirm that it was successfully upgraded to 728 and we can double check this by uh, confirming here so version 728 okay so that's great fmc is upgraded to version 728 which means that now we can upgrade the firewalls or firepower or threat defense okay we're going to follow the same step now we're going to cisco website and choose the upgrade version for the firepower okay so here we want to download and uh let's see firepower that should be threat defense virtual okay so secure firewall threat defense virtual and we want to choose firepower threat defense software and now we have to choose a version that is the same or below of currently uh fmc so fmc we just installed 728 so we want to choose this one as well for ftd so we're going to download this one so that's ftd defense upgrade so 728.25 i'm going to download this as well and to download these you have to log in with your account and make sure that you are eligible to download these files okay so now we're going to import ftd upgrade file so let's go over system and we can see that the dashboard is different so product update and even here things look different okay so it should say upgrade package and we want to choose the file and import into fmc okay so i'm going to upload this file and now we can see the process uh loading okay the upload is completed so now we have to send the file from fmc to the ftd and to do that we can select here on upgrades and it's going to take uh to this page so we have one class ha's candidate to add to your upgrade list so one thing i have to also mention is that after upgrading fmc we have to perform uh we have to deploy the configuration uh, just to update uh, the new uh, settings on new version of FMC, okay? Uh, so now, okay, so we have to select those devices and we have a class and we're just going to select them and we're going to add to selection. So which means that we want to upgrade these two firewalls. And so we want to copy the upgrade package to those devices. We're going to confirm, click continue to copy the upgrade package to the selected devices and you're going to start. Okay, and it looks like that the last process is completed. So now we're going to click on next. Okay, we can start the readiness check or we can use this new mode available, the unattended mode, which essentially means that FMC is going to run all of these steps for us. So we don't have to do anything. And at the end, if the process is successful or not, we're going to see it in the report so i'm just going to click on start and this process is going to take care of itself now if we want we can also monitor this process by looking at uh, notification and tasks and we can see at which step is the uh, unattended mode running another option to monitor the unattended mode is to click here and just select view status and we can see at which phase we are so over status uh, target version 728 so it's going to target on 
both firewalls so it's still running after a while we'll be able to see the upgrade process for each device so right now we can see that it's upgrading firewall 2 so if we click on firewall 2 we can see the details and so it's upgrading already uh firewall 2 and we can see the percentage completed and so once this process is completed then it's going to uh fail over it's going to switch the roles with firewall 1 so firewall 2 will become the active firewall and firewall 1 will be the standby and then we'll start the upgrade process on firewall 1. okay so it looks like the upgrade process is completed on both firewalls so let's check on firewall 2 so 72 wait is completed and the same for uh, firewall 1 so upgrade to 728 is completed as well so now let's see if we can get uh additional information if we navigate to device management and it should say that the current version is 728 as we can confirm right here and the same for firewall 2 and right now firewall 2 remains as the active one as i explained before because of these switching roles also recall that after an upgrade we have to deploy this new configuration so here uh, we have to perform a new deployment so it's going to deploy and probably is going to throw a warning uh, that probably we have to update or perform an advanced yes as I was saying we have to perform advanced deploy because I know this environment is a live environment I didn't make any change I'm just going to ignore warnings and deploy anyway okay the deployment was successful and essentially this is all we have to do to upgrade the cisco firepower high availability solution so just to recap we did upgrade the fmc so the management solution that manages the firewalls we did upgrade both firewalls firewall one and firewall two and we have all the system all these devices running the latest version not the latest one but the version 728 now if you want to read all these procedures or uh, what you have to know before starting the upgrade process and also which bugs you might find on a specific version or which uh, new features are available on a specific version you might want to take a look at this document from cisco this is the cisco firewall upgrade guide for fmc and also for ftd so here you will find uh, all the recommendation for the upgrade path that you have to take and a lot of more information or you can check also the install and upgrade guide depending on which version you plan to upgrade your solution okay so i hope you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one